Hello Lana. Welcome to my lesson. Today we are going to learn establish a nursery bed for vegetable. Prepare A nursery bed is a small part of land prepared for raising seedlings before transplanting them to the field. Apart from providing food, vegetables can also be sold to earn income for farmers. Some vegetables are first raised in a nursery before being transplanted. A nursery bed is a small area of land for raising young seedlings before they are transplanted to a permanent place called a seedbed. A nursery bed is prepared to comprise of fine soil particles. Furrows are made using a stick or an index finger after leveling the nursery bed and mixing the soil with organic manure. Step to follow when preparing nursery bed. If the land has bushes, clear using a slasher. Measure a portion of 1 meter wide and any convenient length. Using a gem dig out the weeds. Remove stones and break the lumps of the soil to make the soil fine. Use the rake to make the soil loose and fine. Mix the soil with manure. Depend on the nature of your ground, make either a raised ground nursery bed, flat nursery bed or sunken nursery bed. Use the rake to level the nursery bed. Water the nursery bed to make ready for planting. Steps to be followed in preparing a nursery bed. Select a suitable site. Mark the area. Clear the site using a ponga or a slasher. Dig out the weeds. Remove stones and roots. Loosen the soil to make it fine. Add manure to the soil and mix it well. Make either flat, raised, or sunken nursery bed depending with the area. Level the nursery bed using a rake. Water the nursery bed in readiness for sowing seeds. Safety precaution to be observed. Ponga, gem, slasher, and rakes can hurt if not used carefully. Take care not to hurt yourself or classmate. Sowing, planting vegetable in nursery bed. You will need Vegetable seeds of your choice A well-prepared nursery bed Water in a watering can This can be improvised using a bottle A garden line Sticks How to do it Water your nursery bed properly to make the soil moist Use the gardening line to mark straight line on the nursery bed Make shallow drill on the nursery bed using a stick. Place them vegetable seeds in the drill and space them well. Cover the seeds lightly with the soil. Sowing seeds on a nursery bed. Use a gardening line to make straight lines. Make furrows or drill the holes. The seeds are then spread along the furrows in the process called drilling. Cover the seeds with a thin layer of fine soil. Apply dry plant materials to mulch the nursery bed and water it on top of the mulch. Care for the vegetable seedlings in the nursery. Taking care or managing of the nursery bed. Care for the vegetable seedlings in the nursery. Vegetable seedlings are taken care of by constructing a shade on top of them to prevent being weakened by direct sunlight. To preserve water, by preventing water loose from the nursery bed through evaporation. The seedlings should be watered regularly and weed removed from their midst. When the seedlings are ready, you should transplant them into a seed bed. Vegetable seedlings are taken care of by constructing a shade on top of them to prevent being weakened by direct sunlight and to preserve water, by preventing water loose from the nursery bed through evaporation. Shade erected over the nursery bed to conserve moisture. Weeding is the removal of unwanted plants from nursery bed. Weeding should be done regularly. Weeds should be removed by hands without stepping on the nursery bed. We should water the nursery bed before we start weeding. This makes the soil moist and loose for easier uprooting of the weeds without destroying the seedlings. Mulching is covering of the nursery bed using dry grass or leaves. We should mulch the vegetable nursery bed immediately after planting slash sowing the seeds. When seedlings start germinating, mulch should be removed. 
Some of the materials that can be used for mulching are dry leaves, dry grass and wood chippings. Mulch reduce loss of water from soil. Watering should be done regularly, early in the morning and late in the evening. We can use watering can to conserve water and to avoid destroying seedling. Or drip irrigation to water the plants. When watering vegetable we should. We should not flood the nursery bed. Thinning is the removal of small, weak and crowded seedling from the nursery bed. Very weak seedlings that are overcrowded should be removed and discarded. We should thin our vegetable nursery bed to create enough space for the other seedling to grow healthy. Seedlings can be attacked and destroyed by the insects and other pests. We need to control these pests so that our seedlings can remain healthy. Seedling attacked by pests and diseases should also be removed to prevent them from spreading. We can use wood ash or make pesticides using Mexican marigold to control crops pests. Diseased seedling can be identified by changing of color of some leaves, dry parts of leaves, or dry leaves. We should check our seedlings regularly. Diseased plants may affect others. They should be uprooted and disposed of. Transplanting seedling from the nursery bed to a suitable sites. Transplanting is transferring seedling from a nursery bed to a seed bed. Before transplanting seedlings from a nursery bed, they should be prepared by the hardening off. Hardening off is done by Reducing the number of times they are watered Removing the shade Removing mulching from nursery bed The seed bed should be well prepared. Transplanting should be done early in the morning, on the cloudy day or in the evening. Preparing a seed bed for planting vegetable seedlings Transplanting seedlings in the seedbed should be taken care of. This is through weeding, watering and application of fertilizer or manure. Dried up seedlings after transplanting should be replaced in the process called gapping. Other practices such as mulching, shading, application of pesticides to control pests and diseases are important. Selling surplus. We can advertise our vegetable seedling by Making posters and placing them within the school compound and neighborhood. Display a few of them during the school parent meeting. Ask our parents to buy seedling from the for planting in the kitchen garden at home.